get a job? Yeah. Just get a job? Why don't I strap on my job helmet and squeeze down into a job cannon and fire off into job land where jobs grow on jobby? <laughs> Hey everyone, we're back for more Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 3, Episode 7. Let's see what they've got for us today. Oh my god, dude, there is definitely a helicopter pad on the roof of this building. No, there isn't, Charlie. Yes, there no. is! What? Every single one of these corporate buildings has a helipad on the Why? roof. Charlie okay. is right, there's always some big boss man fat cat that needs to be able to escape by helicopter. What is he escaping? You know what? Secret tunnels, then. Secret tunnels, Secret bro? tunnels, no, it's a monorail no, system. There are no boats. Oh, my God, guys, can we stop trying to do this? I don't want to talk to this corporate drone any longer than we have to, OK? Fine. We're split <coughs> in the helicopters. We'll come back <coughs> to the secret tunnels. I, I think, think that we was should. an excellent idea. But I think we can all agree that we should at least hear this guy out, right? I guess. I guess so. Let's hear the guy out. OK, we'll hear him out. We're agreed. Sir, please continue. Sitting there the whole time. Oh, okay, <laughs> right. Um, as I was saying, oh when, I, when I went down to your bar the other day, nobody appeared to be working there. I mean, there were people there, but they were just customers who seemed to be serving themselves. Right, we're out and about yeah. a lot, bro. Get yeah. to the point. Right, yeah. well, we here at Media Restaurant Group really think that the location of your bar would be a perfect spot for one of our oldies rock cafes. Shit, dude, oh. how do I explain this to you? Uh, um, buy it? This bar, it's who we are. All right? Amen. It's all we've got. Yeah. You wouldn't understand that. Because you corporate pigs think you can just buy everything. But you can't, you can't. buy everything. Yeah. We you know you're kind. Everything. The big businesses just <laughs> going all gonna over sell town, out? swallowing up all the small guys. Well, guess what, pal? Patty's Pub can't be bought. OK. Well, if you would just please take a look at our offer. Yeah, man. <laughs> we'll take a look at it. Sold! <laughs> <laughs> the gang sells out. OK, yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling, by the way they were bringing that in, they're talking about how they love the bar, it's lifeblood, blah, blah, blah. And then he started writing something down on paper. And as soon as they saw the number, they sold out. See if they can get uh, Frank and D on board. Is I think D's an owner. I can't, actually, I can't remember. No, wait, that's right. Remember the first season, they said she's not an owner. But Frank is, right? He bought his way into the company. I'm selling the bar. Right. It's time for a life of leisure, buddy. It's time to retire and collect that pension. Think of all the money we're gonna get. Yeah, what are you talking yeah. about? The yep. money from That's selling right. the bar. Yeah, we can retire to an island where we'll all get fat and tan. <laughs> D, you're not gonna get shit. No. Yeah, come we're on. We're the shareholders. You owe nothing. Are you serious? I have been with you guys since the very beginning. I would think of Patty's as sort of an Enron type situation. You see, we're gonna cut and run, and we're gonna leave you out there broken jobless. It's nothing personal, it's <laughs> no. just business. It's a business. It's a business. business. It does not business. matter one bit because I'm not selling the bar anyway. Let's take a look. What, what is that? That's the offer. <laughs> Let's sell this piece of shit. <laughs> sell this piece of shit bar. <laughs> Wait just one second. We have to milk this cow for all she's worth. We need to be wooed. Oh, yeah, I could go yeah. for being wooed. I'd love to be wooed. I'm saying I could go for some wood. Uh, no, we're cool. saying wooed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. We'll get some wood. We'll build something cool. And then we'll <laughs> He's go such an idiot. Money. That doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about, huh? Charlie. We're talking about being wooed by this corporate Dennis, guy. Dennis, just no, it's a waste of time. All right, How look, are you going to be wooed? Let's just... Let's just go and sell this bar for everything right, we'll we can get for it. Come right. on, let's do it, boys. Let's go. Wait a second. What the hell am I supposed to do? Don't give a shit. <laughs> I think shut the lights off. There's still people in there drinking. <laughs> Need to apply for a job. Right. Just fill out this application and I'll put it in the stack with the others. D? That's reassuring. Hey, hi. What well, are you applying for a job here? Here? Yeah. What are oh, you the crazy? waitress. I was like, oh, wait, no, I would never work. Why do I recognize here? her? I'm working here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I'm assistant managing. I thought you worked at the coffee shop. Um, yeah, I do still, but a Starbucks moved in across the street and they're stealing all our business. Right across the street? I know. Well, that is good to know. I love <laughs> Starbucks. Oh. Well, that's why I I'm don't. working here, so. Do you think that you could get me a job? Here? Yeah. I thought you weren't applying. No, that was a lie. Oh, um. Here's my application. Okay. Do not hire her. Uh, <laughs> Don't you didn't fill mistake. it out yet. No, I know, you do it. I don't mind. It's fine. I'm gonna grab a beer, though, while you're doing that. You Come get me. You fill out my and, um, application while I go start. get a drink. Thank you so much. This is awesome. 
Did you go to high school or? <laughs> so, you guys ready to sell? Whoa, 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 pal, listen. We have terms. Okay. What are your terms? We'd like a plaque of us to be hung in the new restaurant to pay tribute okay. and preserve our legacy. Now, it could also be a statue, okay? Something real classy, though. Uh, something like where those American soldiers are raising that flag yeah. up oh. in that one war. The war where we saved Japan. Oh, oh. correct. Hiroshima. Uh, no, actually, Charlie, it wasn't Hiroshima. I'm pretty sure Hiroshima's in Japan, dude. We dropped a nuclear bomb on Japan. Why the hell would we drop a nuclear bomb on Japan? They make all our cars, dude. They're our friends. Not my car. I buy American. Mm. Oh, American cars are pieces uh, of shit. <laughs> yeah, you're making a big mistake, Frank. See, Japan makes the best cars. Yeah. We're in Germany. Germany yeah, makes but you know the problem with Germany is? They don't make enough hybrids. We're getting off track here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? What's the... So is that it? Horrible Not even. No, no, we, no, no, we, we, we also we want like... to be the ones to blow up the bar. I'm sorry? Now, don't worry. We've already worked out everyone's mm -hmm. part. You see, Mac here, he's going to hold the spool. Charlie's going to do the countdown. And Frank and I, we're going to push the handle down. Oh, a couple hours. Oh, I don't want the chopper. No! no. I want no. the chopper! No! no. Just... Excuse me, <laughs> sir! I would like a helicopter flyby. I don't need to be in it. I just want your corporate chopper to fly by my apartment window real low and fast. That's it. Okay. Okay. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pull the deal off the table. <laughs> Oh, that sucks for them. Fine, then <clears throat> we'll go with the original offer. No. They're screwed. Less well, than something a little less than the original offer. We would, we would accept something a little substantially bit. less than I'm going to go less. ahead and offer you nothing. That sucks. You promised they blew it. Bring up the yeah. Dude, it's like you're not the boss of me, all right? So well, technically, it. Charlie, I am the boss of you what? because I own half your shares. That's when? You sold me half your shares of the bar for goods and services. Well, wait, wait, wait a second. You've definitely given me half your shares, too, dude. Uh, maybe I gave you guys a couple shares when my back was against the wall. I needed a little breathing room. Bro, you gave me a shitload of shares one time for a half a sandwich. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Is this a host job where you're hosting me down? Dude, you host yeah. yourself down. You host yourself oh, up and down, I host Charlie. Down. Come on. Pathetic. What do you want me to do? I don't care. Yeah, get a job. Oh, get a job? Yeah. Just get a job? Why don't I strap on my job helmet and squeeze down into a job cannon and fire off into job land where jobs grow on jobbies? <laughs> now we're wasting jobs time. Jobs grow on your jobbies. I can't stand you guys. Ooh. Now that we got rid of that dead weight, let's come up with a strategy. Yeah, what's your plan? I'm thinking if this fat cat is not going to woo us, then we got to woo him. Yeah. Uh-huh. Rip club. I thought you guys were taking me to dinner. Come on. Who doesn't like to watch a naked woman swing around on a pole? Gay man for one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm gay. No. Well, you're so big and tough. You do not come across as gay. You don't look like a gay guy. No. That's because he's a bear. Huh? <laughs> what? He's a bear. You see, some gay guys are twinks and others are bears. This gay guy's a bear. By the way, we're totally cool with that. To each his own. I don't really know. I'm a little confused here. What's a twink? A uh, twink is small and slender, like Mac. Oh, no. I'm too muscular. I would be a bear. Uh, don't think so, bro. Not hairy enough. Smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, I would be a bear. No, no, see, I don't think you'd be a bear either. As a matter of fact, I don't know what you would be because you're definitely not a twink. <laughs> I'd be a top, that's for sure. Maybe. Can a twink be a top, or is that reserved for bears? I'm sure there's a great deal of switching back and forth, but I think more often than not, they bears get sidetracked so they easily. To be power bottoms. What's a power bottom? Right? A power bottom is a bottom that is capable of receiving an enormous amount of power. Actually, Mac, you got it backwards. You see, a power bottom is actually generating all the power by doing most of the work. Does the power have to do with the size <laughs> or the strength in a bottom? Now, Dennis, I've heard that speed has something to do with it. Speed has everything to do with it. You see, the speed of the bottom informs the top how much pressure he's supposed to apply. Speed's the name of the game. Right, buddy? <laughs> he laughed. He said, fuck God this. God damn it. <laughs> Great, so now that you have your silverware all set out, you're going to need to refill all the ketchup bottles that are in your section. Ooh, that sounds like a whole thing. You know what I'll do? If they start to get empty, I'll just grab some from other tables. Um, no, because then someone else yeah. is doing your work for you. Yeah, which makes my job easier. No, that's not how we do it here. You actually have to follow the rules. We're very strict, which means you probably shouldn't be drinking beer while well, I... you probably should get used to it, because I'm going to do it anyway. Dee, perfect. There you are. Look, I need a... I need a... Hello. <laughs> this is a surprise uh -oh. turn. Hello, Charlie. How you doing? What? This is good. Yeah, you're here. Wow, you working here? Or... Wow, look at you. You cracked the case. Cool. Why are you here, then? Kind of hit rock bottom. Need a job. So, Dee, can you hook me up with a job here, or...? I've been here for, like, two hours, Charlie. Talk to the manager. 
Oh, you're the manager now. Yeah. Good for you. She's not an easy not accomplishment. Hire him. So, John. I don't think so, Charlie. You're pretty weird. You make me feel uncomfortable and you smell really bad. You say that, but I don't, I don't see it. Look, <laughs> I don't when I'm at work, I am all about work. Right, Dee? Really does clean a mean toilet. Look, I'll sparkle it. Fine, fine. Okay, fine. I will give you a Jeez. job. You can be the assistant sanitation apprentice. Oh! Hey. Nice. What, yeah. is, what does that guy do? That guy is gonna clean up vomit yes. and shit and put out grease fires. So, D, go give me a beer. You can't drink beer on the job. You can get your own beer. I gotta get a beer and then take the edge off, and then I'll get started doing the fires or whatever you want me to start. What was it? <laughs> what was it? Fuck it. <laughs> he doesn't care. Hey. You need to talk to me? D, yeah. Um, one of the bills that you dropped on one of your tables was actually the wrong one. No, it double dropped it. I used to do it at Patty's all the time. I use the same bill for two tables, and then I pocket the cash for the other one. Um, that's stealing. Yeah, I know. We're sticking it to those corporate bastards, aren't we? We're not doing anything. Okay, well, that's rude. If they find out that <laughs> I know rude. that you're doing this, I'm gonna lose my job. You know what? I'm not asking you to do much. Just, uh, just turn a blind eye while I rob this place stupid. No, I need this job. <laughs> wow. Well. Fine. Okay. Fine. I do. Okay. Okay. No idea why Dennis thinks you're so cool. Um, did you say that uh, Dennis thinks I'm cool? What's that? Did you say that doesn't. Dennis thinks I'm cool? Yeah, he thinks you're really cool, but I mean, he's my brother, so we, we recap the day with each other, and when I tell him about this, I feel like... No, be... you don't need to tell him that this happened. No? N no, because if you tell him that I'm cool, then maybe we can forget that this whole thing ever happened. Deal. Uh, knock knock, sorry to interrupt. Uh, look, Dee, let's talk sugars for one quick second here, okay? You got a sugar crisis on your tables. Now, those little sugar holder things, they don't refill themselves, all right? So we're doing all the work for you, and you're making your manager here look bad, okay? Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, no, no sweat. I'm just team effort out there, right? You know, and, and you gotta pick up your slack, you know? Otherwise, we're doing all the work okay, for you. Okay, you're getting a little close. Well, no, I think I was just stretching out, no. and maybe you leaned in a little bit. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not. not. You walked all the way Didn't over there. Didn't mean to do anything inappropriate. I was just trying to <clears throat> help all right. out here. Okay, okay. you know what? Back to work, Back everyone. To work, everyone. Everybody. Back to work, Back to work. Back to work. Ah. Please drop the act. She is not into you, and you're making me look bad. You're making yourself look bad. Your tables are pathetic, D. You're not going to impress her. We'll see. <laughs> These guys. Oh, what is going on in here, Frank? Who are these guys? Oh, these are the Yellow Jacket Boys, my old street gang from the fifties. What Jacket exactly boys. are your old pathetic friends doing here, Frank? The corporate guy decided to buy the bookstore down the block, so me and the boys thought we'd do a little loitering. That's dumb. That is a dumb, stupid, dumb idea. No, dumb, Dennis. It's not that dumb of an idea. Look, if we can establish that there's a seedy element outside of that bookstore. Maybe the offer comes back to us. Exactly. You know what? You guys do whatever you want. I'm gonna go back down to that Oldies Rock Cafe and I'm gonna get Charlie and Dee back. Because if we're not gonna sell the bar, we at least need them here cleaning our toilets and serving us our beer. <laughs> Great. Frank, Jesus. please tell me that you have another one of those jackets. Not for you, bitch. <laughs> not for you, bitch. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, well, we want you guys to come back because they pulled out of the sale. So you screw me over to sell the bar, and then you blow it, and now you want me to come back, probably just to serve you drinks and not pay me anything. Is that a yes, or what is that? No, that's a no, Dick. No. That's a no, I am very happy here. And I will have you know, I am taking this place up the butt with a little scheme I like to call D's up Double Drop. Butt. Oh, you're doing the Double Drop here, too, huh? You know about this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We always used to take the difference out of your purse. Uh, what? Are there always <laughs> this many chicks here? <coughs> yeah, college that's, crowd. That's amazing. Oh, college chicks, I like that. Tell you what, why don't you get me a job as a bartender here? No! Screw you! I'm not why, helping you! Why wouldn't you help me? What are you me? talking about? What are you talking How about? How is it not obvious? It's not obvious to me at all! You are stupid! <laughs> you are straight up stupid! stupid. Why the hell am I talking to you about this anyway? You're just an underling around this place. Let me talk to a manager. Well, yeah, I think that's a very good idea. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, yeah. I tell you what, why don't you take this application mm. and go to the back office and I'll send the manager right into you. Okay, all mm. right. Back here? Back there. Okay. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Hey, sorry for keeping you waiting. It's busy out there tonight, man. So, Charlie Kelly, nice to meet you. Uh, I understand <laughs> you were looking manager. for a bartending position. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing, man? What, you're the manager here now? Things move very quickly here at the Oldies Rock Cafe. May I? I need to look over your forms here. If, I think I'll just... Can I just take a quick peek at that? Thank you. Let's take a little look-see here. Okay, good, good, good. This all looks good. So, uh, tell me about Patty's... 
pub. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think I need to know what your duties were. Okay, Charlie, I'm not going to answer any of your... do anything there? I am not going to answer any of your questions, all right? Just give me a, a job. Really? Well, does not respond well to authority. <laughs> oh, God <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Language you. is a bit of an issue oh, here at the old right, Charlie. Why? Charlie. Why? Why is that Charlie. an issue? Uh -oh. What are you doing in my office? A little research is, uh... Are you... Dennis. Hey. Uh-oh. She's going to give him a job. Wow, look at you. You look... Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Are you the manager? Yes. Well, first of all, let me just apologize to you for never calling you back. Ever. Ever. And secondly, I'm here because I'm looking for a bartending job. Oh, well, maybe I should then, I'll go and just get, get your Get me a uniform? uniform again. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? At the same time? Then... Yeah, I know. It's like, so... off you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What is her name again? <laughs> hey. I don't even know her name. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to feel like we will never ever know her name in the show. This is very intimidating, Frank! Uh, don't worry, we're sending out a strong message, man. Hey look kids, it's a 50s doo-wop group. <laughs> what? No, we're not a 50s doo-wop group. Hey, listen, would you sing us a song? We don't sing, guy. Oh, yeah, we do. We'll sing. We'll sing for you. Right, boys? You guys sing? Of course we sing. We're a gang. No, no, no. Gangsters don't sing. What are you talking about? You ever hear a gangster rap? We are not going to intimidate anybody if we are no entertaining point. the whole goddamn Thanks. neighborhood. <laughs> 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 right, listen to this. Listen to this. Boom, 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 you are not allowed to drink on the job. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm a bartender. I'm, all I do is drink. Um, that's against the rules here. <laughs> We're not actually following the rules, are we? Hey, cocktail. Can I get those drinks before my shift ends? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been so busy getting so many phone numbers. Yeah, what's that all about? Yeah, well, while you've been picking up bar whores, I have been double dropping bar like whores. a bastard out there. Thanks. Oh, my God. You're double dropping again, Dee? Oh, I never stopped double dropping. That is unbelievable. Okay. What are you what on about? What is going on? I thought we were sticking it to the man. Oh. I am not sticking it to anyone. This is my job. I have to report you to. Wow. Wow. This tattletale business is very ugly, isn't it, Dennis? She should not have hired them. <laughs> you know what, Dennis? I took a chance giving you a job here, and you're really screwing me over. Oh, why are you being so needy? You realize how unattractive that is to me? Don't you want to be attractive to me? Jesus. Come on. All right, ladies, who wants to do a shot off my abs? Hey, what's going on over there? Are you all right? I'm not all right. Dennis and Dee are being complete ass faces. <laughs> you know, I gave them a chance to work here, and now they're stealing from the restaurant, and I'm going to get fired. What? They're stealing? Yes. I'll tell you what. I will take care of Dennis and Dee for you, all right? I will rid you of those two jerks. Really? Yes. Thanks, Charlie. That's really nice of you. Okay. How about a hug? Cheer you up. Ah. Well... A, a quick one. Oh, for real? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, doesn't this That's feel good. right, though? That felt good. No, thank you. Uh, wow, why are you so sweaty? It's really hot in here. It's not hot, it's freezing. It is freezing, isn't it? They're blazing that AC. <laughs> All right, listen, yellow jackets, just let me do the talking, okay? I'm gonna let my blade do the talking. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Frank. Yeah. My blades, okay? We're just sending him a message. If he doesn't buy the bar, then there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. What are you people doing at my house? Well, actually, sir, we are here just to talk. I'm not buying your bar. Look, pal, you better not mess with us. You see Hawkey over here? Uh -huh. He's crazy. I'm not sure what he's capable of. Is that right? You got something to say, old man? Good night. <laughs> just what? die. I just topped myself for most phone numbers in one day. Nine. Nine? Nine. Come on. What? What do you think? Six strawberry margaritas, please. Got it, man. Uh, you know what? Don't make them, because you won't have your jobs much longer. Corporate's on their way down here right now to fire your asses. What? 
told on us? Babe, don't do that to me. I feel like we were getting so close, sweet baby. Are you serious? He doesn't even know your name. Yes. Uh, is it gonna be the guy? This is a Hard Rock Cafe, right? This is the Hard Rock. Oh my God. That's what I call. I call You're you beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Would That's... you not want to be called beautiful? Which right. one of you guys is the one who called me? Uh, right here. Okay. These are the two that were stealing. I, mean, I know you. And you, you're the guys who are on that dive bar down the street. You're the corporate dude with the helicopter. Right, listen, here's the thing. I had a really strange night last night. Your friends in their doo-wop group, they showed up in my house and attacked me. One of them died on my doorstep. <laughs> it just it sort died. of put me in a bunk. Oh my so God. I'm going to clean house and you're all fired. <gasps> what? Yeah. Well, Come on, man, have a sense of humor. Fired. I'm not fired. I'm not fired, right? Did you did you hire these people? She sure did. Well, she, she hired she's the me. manager. Yeah. Well, then, then clearly you're an idiot because these people are psychopaths. But no, you're not fired. I'm just kidding. You are. Everybody, get the hell out of my <laughs> restaurant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, god. Damn it. Because that's god like damn it, Charlie. Really? Now how am I gonna pay for my rent next month, huh? Don't worry about it. Come live with me, all right? Oh! <laughs> Go to hell! Oh, <laughs> she is strung up super ah. tight. You guys wanna do some farewell shots? Howdy. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Hawkey lived a fast, hard life. Some stars shine so bright that they burn out before their time. We're gonna miss you, Hawkey. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Jesus! You ready, boys? Sing that song. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, so he actually died? <laughs> Damn. That was a good episode. <clears throat> that one was really funny. I like the, we got to see the waitress again, which is great. We got to see her a little bit. And then we got to meet a new individual. I don't know if we'll see him anymore after this one. Um, uh, once again, Dennis is psycho. <laughs> it's crazy. And uh, Frank is just absolutely hilarious. I loved his little doo-wop group that he had. The, oh, crap, I can't remember what they're called. But, um... That was funny. That was a really good episode. Can't wait for the next one. Until next time, guys. Take care.